Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can make a portrait out of text in using GIMP. Uh, this tutorial was requested by a couple of people a while ago, so now I decided to do it. So first thing you need is to import an image in GIMP and a little advice here, um, use images where the face or the person or the object is on a black background or at least dark background. Also use good quality images with a lot of detail. Now if you don't know how to isolate an object on a black background, I have videos about that that you can find in my channel. So let's get started. It's a very simple trick that you can use to do this. First thing we'll do is we will duplicate this image by using this option. And then we need to fill this one, the top layer here with black color. So make sure it's selected. Go to the edit menu and choose this option, fill with foreground color, which is black. This is the foreground color over here. In case your color is uh, changed to something else, for example, red, you can click here to reset it and then use this option to fill it with black color. Next thing we'll do is grab the text tool, click here and drag like this to create the uh, frame in which the te text will be pasted. So once we have this, also you can, after releasing the mouse, you can further adjust this using these rectangles on the side here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it as close uh, to the image as possible. Make sure you fit the entire image in this text box. So the next step is to type or paste some text here. Now I'm not going to take the time to type text here. I'm just uh, went ahead and copied some text from the GIMP wiki page with control C and now here in GIMP with control V, I'm going to paste it. And at first you cannot see it because the text is black and the background is black. So what we need to do is to hit control A to select O. And now our text is selected. We can go ahead and click here to change the color to white. And the next thing I'm going to do is, again, I need to select this text, Control C to copy it. Then I'll click here and use Control V to paste it a few times so we can cover the entire image. Once I'm ready, I will go on this layer, the text layer over here, make sure it's selected, right click on it and choose the Add Layer Mask option. Then uh, add a white full opacity layer mask Click on the add button. Next, go back on this layer, select it. Control C to copy the content of this layer. Then go over here, click on the layer mask and click Control V to paste it. And you see now we have the effect starting to show up. So the next step will be to right click on this floating selection pasted layer and choose the anchor layer option. And this will move it over here. Uh, so, as you can see over here where uh, the background was not uh, completely black, we have some text showing up. We can leave it if you want to for the effect or we can remove it very easily in this case by grabbing this selection tool, making a selection like this and just using control comma which will fill with black color or you can go to the edit menu, fill with foreground color which is black then go to select none to remove the selection. Another thing that I want to mention is that uh, the smaller the text, the more detail, uh, the more detail you're going to get. If the text was bigger, you're not gonna get this much detail. Uh, to show you how you can adjust the text size, it's from over here. When you have your text, you just select it and you change the size from over here. So how can we further tweak this a little bit? We can go to the color tools and choose levels. And from over here, we can play around with these triangles. And you can see how this affects the image. So you can make it brighter if you want to. You can play around a little bit. Let's see the before and after. You see now the text is brighter. 
when I just did these sliders here. I think in this case I'm going to leave it uh, the way it was. So just going to click cancel. Another cover tool that you can use is the curves or the threshold tools to adjust the brightness of the text and uh, some of the detail also. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, like it, leave me a comment, subscribe for more if you're new to my uh, tutorials, visit my channel for more videos and that's it for now. Bye.